What is going on everybody? I'm here at the Grove in LA at Barnes & Noble because Brandon T. Snyder is here. This guy right there, right there. He is here for a comic book signing for his brand new comic book, Marvel's Avengers Infinity War Cosmic Quest. And it's pretty exciting with Marvel's Avengers Infinity War coming out to theaters soon. I'm pretty excited to pick this up. But um, the event's gonna start in a few minutes, so let's go ahead and head on up. I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town. I'm searching for the lost and found. Um, thank you everyone for coming. Can we just get along and just sign the books? What? <laughs> what the hell? Can you just give me like 20 minutes? How about 20 minutes? Fine. All right. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here she comes. So I saw these stones in the back of the book. So which one is which? I've been looking at the colors. Okay. So we'll, let's go through them. Let's go through them. Okay, so we've got, how about I read the back? A deadly threat has emerged from the cosmos. Thanos, the mad titan, a ruthless warlord, has plans to collect all six infinity stones. But in order to take the infinity stones for himself, he'll have to find them first. Ooh. Meanwhile, in the wake of their clashes with the superheroes of the universe, the Grandmaster and the Collector are looking to restore their former glory. And what better way to launch their crusade with the power of the infinite than with the power of the infinity stones? Where's the, where's the grandmaster? Who's the grandmaster? Did you see Thor Ragnarok? Mm -hmm. He's in that. He has the blue. He has the blue thing right here. He's a bad guy. He's a bad guy. Um, so so we have the time, the power, and the mind stone. Those are the three infinity stones that are in this book. Okay, well, which one is which? Okay, one question. The green one is the time stone, and that is in Doctor Strange's Eye of Agamotto. And the golden one is the mind stone, and that is in Loki's scepter. And what's the... And the power stone is in the orb. Do you remember in Guardians of the Galaxy, the orb? That Star-Lord? You haven't seen that? You should watch that. It's a good one. You saw it? Okay. All right, cool. All right, everybody, I'm here with uh, Brandon T. Snyder, the author uh, of his brand new book, of which I don't have with, <laughs> it's over there. It's right here. It's right there. <laughs> But it's uh, Cosmic Quest, it's uh, Avengers Infinity War uh, tie-in, right? Yes. And uh, it looks to be pretty exciting. Excited for the movie? Yes, of course. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. I want excited. to find out what the F happens. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> if you could have a superpower, which one would it be? Hmm, is there like a tax prep related superpower? <laughs> There could be. Better to be better at tax preparation? No. I would say, you know what, it's pretty basic, but I would say flying. Flying? Just, uh, it would be really nice if I could just make that happen. Just fly right over all the traffic, right? Yeah. Or, or I would say I would want the power to give people indigestion. <laughs> indigestion? If Why? If you think about it, because <laughs> I don't like standing in lines, and it's an easy way to just clear a line. Think about it. I think, think I think um, you might be a low-key supervillain. I mean, you know, I don't like the post office. <laughs> I don't want to spend my day in a line at a post office. So you give somebody indigestion mentally or, you know, whatever. <laughs> and then next thing you know, you're first. If you think about it long enough, you'll be like, that's brilliant. Next question. Um, if you could wield one of the infinity stones, like if you were powerful enough to do it, which infinity stone would it be? Hmm. I would say... Just like the Tesseract. The Tesseract one? Okay. I would say, like, I would like to go other places and have an easy way to do that. <laughs> and that would, the Tesseract would be the easiest one. Yeah, I feel like with the superpowers and Infinity Gems, I feel like it's more convenience-based, you know, rather than like, you know, wanting to be super powerful or it's anything like that. Yeah, it's, it's practical. Also, or the Soul Stone, which there's a lot of mystery surrounding. And so maybe I should not even talk about it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure we'll find out more about it in your brand new book, right? You may or may not. <laughs> no spoilers. Spoiler alert. Yes, no, so we'll I, if I can't say any more, <laughs> no I, I will die. Yeah. I will get murdered. Right. He's being watched by Marvel as we speak. I'm being watched. Stan Lee is right out, actually uh, right out there, <laughs> um, and he's a really good shot. Even at his advanced age, we shouldn't, oh, we shouldn't discount no, him. No, yeah, no, he's pretty sharp for yeah, 100. Definitely. Or, is he 100? I think, uh, no, I think he's in his 90s, he I looks think. Like, yeah, he, he's, he's in his 90s, yeah. Looks like he's 60. Well, yeah, it looks like he's 60, definitely. He has a you know, very young spirit. Yes, so. yes, a young spirit. A very young that. spirit. Well, uh, thanks for coming out from uh, all the way from uh, Queens, New York. Yes. 
Yes, yeah, you're Queens. You're from uh, you're from Spider Man's hood, so yes. say so hey, say hi to Spider Man for us. Absolutely. All right. Thank you very much, sir. Thanks for having me. But that's gonna be it for today's video. Special shout out to Brandon T. Snyder for hanging out with me at the end and answering a couple questions, not just for me, but for the viewers as well and for all the kids out there who are excited to read his brand new book. Again, it's The Cosmic Quest. It's a tie-in to Avengers Infinity War. You guys gotta read it. But until my next video, this is Ken, signing out.